coming up on today's episode. Boston Rob, here with Lexi. No more Bob. Really all in. Good morning, everyone. This is Bob and Lexi here from the Bob and Lexi show. We are in the car. We are, it is bright and early. We have been up since the butt crack of dawn, right, Bob? I'm always up at this time. Yeah, it's 7.51, and we are on our way to get breakfast at our favorite breakfast spot while we mull over what we want to do for the day. Yesterday, we had said that we were going to take the day off because we both are just poker shots. But we wake up in the morning and it's a brand new day. It is the second to last event that we're playing. It's the closer, $1,500 buy-in. You start with 50,000 chips, I believe. And I think the blinds increase every 30 minutes. So it's a good one. And there's two starting flights we can play today or tomorrow. I don't know what to do. We're gonna mull it over. We're gonna have an amazing breakfast because this place has the best breakfast in the entire state. <laughs> have you ever met a restaurant you didn't like? I have met many restaurants I don't like. I don't think so. I think if you go through these vlogs, you will come back to you loved. Why don't you go, buddy? The light is green. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it's a Tesla. All right. We'll see you at breakfast. Here we are in Tivoli Village. It's such a nice little... What would you call this? I would call this a shopping center. A shopping, it's not a shopping center. It's like a, an it's outdoor. It's an Italian. It's an Italian themed shops, restaurants, bars. It's a different vibe than like the Vegas Strip. They have a lot of like art galleries and just, you know, furniture stores. They have a giant RH, which I'm obsessed with. So I like it here. They have like a lot of like farmer's markets here on the weekend, so it's nice. And the weather is nice. It's not scorching hot right now. Yeah, that is nice. Yeah. So we're gonna get some grub. Here we are. Best breakfast in town, ladies and gents. Aw, look at how cute. Our coffees love us. Don't they? Why is that camera in my face every morning? <laughs> because the people love you. You are the people's people. What's funny is Lexi just said, wow, the weather's nice this early in. It's not crowded. I said there's a whole world out here. I'm aware. Now. Usually this place is packed, but a lot of empty tables this morning. Getting up early has its benefits. I'm gonna drink our fancy coffee now. All right, you guys, check us out. Oh yes. Bob's got some like Mexican situation. This is actually a burrito. Look at that. I got an omelet, some whole grain toast. Oh, I'm waiting on my fruit. What um, are you upset about? What am I upset about? Mm -hmm. I'm not upset. I'm not upset at all. As most of you know, we have a wedding coming up in September and today is the final day for RSVPs. I haven't heard from at least 20% of my guests. Bob seems to think that you don't have to RSVP. I didn't when say you that, I'm saying most of mail. us don't know that. How do you not know that? Because you we're not food. from New York and we don't live for weddings. This is not a New York thing. First of all, I think that is common courtesy. Everyone should know that to RSVP, but I think more women know that it's appropriate to RSVP than men. And I know we're gonna be like, let us know in the comments if you think that you should be RSVPing, but most of you guys are men. So you're all gonna be like, no, you know, we don't need to do that. I had to stop the video for a second to apologize for Lexi's overall misogyny towards men. Misogyny. I don't know, can you have misogyny towards men? Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> okay, well, just your- In this day and age, yes, you can. Your, it's, this so, is not a misogynistic issue. This is like, it's common courtesy. The RCP is literally stamped, addressed. You have zero effort, there's nothing to do. I'm gonna I'm say gonna in my past lives, I've gotten those and didn't really know. I'm like, no, well, I can't go. Well, that's very rude and people are probably cursing you or did curse you for not doing that because I wanna know if you're coming to my party. There's you know? a long list of women that are cursing me in the past, so probably I'm married ones. I'm gonna have to start making phone calls, counting people, are you coming? Ones, I mean, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, what, you're gonna harass people? I, you do like telemarketing? Yeah. 
Hi, this is Lexi Gavin with Bob and Lexi's wedding, and I'm just calling to confirm that you received the RSVP. Maybe and I should get an assistant to do it. Yeah, I kind of made the mistake of like planning a wedding for right after the World Series of Poker because it's a lot planning during the WSL. So if we move it to March of 2025, it'll be beautiful in Vegas. We have Elvis everywhere. We have the little chapel of flowers. You can go in for 99 bucks or something, and Elvis will marry us. And Marilyn Monroe will be there. Do you want to live to see her win? <laughs> Do you want to be alive on the She doesn't earth? think I'm funny at all. He thinks he's such a tough guy, doesn't he? Telling me that we should push the wedding. You know, it's really funny because behind closed doors, he really likes me. And he's actually really nice to me. And I think he's looking forward to this wedding. <laughs> oh, life. So here I am thinking we're driving home and Bob has detoured us. He saw a sign for an estate sale. So we are gonna go look for some treasure. What if there's a box full of Bitcoin? And what does this have to do with poker? It has nothing to do with poker, guys. I'm so sorry. I know this is a very long intro. We will get to poker, I promise. But we thought we would show you a little bit of the day in the life of us. Wow. Speech problems lately? <laughs> Did what did you have in your treasure? coffee? Was that a little bit of Irish speed. coffee? A little bit of speed. Apparently, we're in a 50 and older senior community. I'm home. You're home. I'm home. <laughs> Take a look, baby. These are your peeps. These are my peeps. Okay. Baby, you want some shoes? Hi. <laughs> Fun fact, Bob actually really likes to go to estate sales and yard sales. <laughs> Want to buy some glasses? Okay, maybe smart a loofah? Yes. A loofah? Okay, some, some suntan lotion? Okay, yeah, not my thing, but we're gonna support him. The house style. of dolls. Okay, Olaf, $15. That's a steal. But with these kind of things, you want to look for like old beanie babies. Fun fact the last time I was home at my parents' house, I found some old beanie babies, and they might be worth a pretty penny. Yeah, hopefully I get rich off Beanie Babies. Cover my losses from World Series. Oh, man. Hey, they left your feet. You could buy another one of these to fly on. <laughs> ah, very cute. Cool. You're a vulture. Don't be afraid of that. It's a vacuum. <laughs> Okay, now we've hit my See, section. All right, I'll take all the Christmas stuff. Boxes of it over here. Fun fact, I'm a Christmas freak. You are. Well, well, we decided to take the day off. But that just means this is now going to be put on to tomorrow's flight B of the closer. Which is actually yesterday's because you're seeing oh us in my the morning. There will be poker after our dinner and we are going to dinner with a special guest. It's a good friend of ours. We're not going to give it away now. There may be wine oh, involved. We have good. a sexy yeah. dress. Here you go. Here is the outfit with the shoes. I know you guys like my little fashion shows. And Bobby Boy looks pretty good too. We've got to go. Here is done. That's it. All right, heading to Americano, our favorite restaurant with our very good friend. And guys, like we said, tomorrow we are playing flight B of the closer. It's not tomorrow, it's yesterday. It, <laughs> it's very confusing, but stick it's around because confusing. we're doing it backwards. There's going to be poker after dinner, and we will be sober because it'll be a new day for us, but the same day for you. Yeah, you might be watching it hang for us. <laughs> okay, let's go. My stud. Here we are. Okay. Americana, amazing restaurant. You guys know we love this place. You look good in front of it, honey. Mm. Thank you. We're gonna vlog less and enjoy our tail. Yeah. I'm gonna eat first. Yeah. I mean, they turned out to be nice. Look at that. Really good. <laughs> All right, enjoy. We also got Boston Rock here. Hello. Enjoying some nice Camus. We got a dinner coming. Yum. Dinner. Thank you. Thank on the halibut, we're going to do a little baby bok choy, some purple potatoes, tagarachi bourbon, and some crispy beaks on top. Thank you. A different dinner menu. What's going on? Boston Rob. I'm here with Lexi and 
you know, more Bob. <laughs> We're at a wine store because we finished dinner like two hours ago and, and we still rosary. wanted to uh, drink my last night in Vegas. Check her out on her blog. Thank you, vlog. Yeah. Vlog. <laughs> We're to so totally, totally sober. sober. Cheers. <laughs> All right, so it's a new day for us, same day for you. We are, we had a great time with Boss and Rob last night. Not at all hungover, not at all. And it's time to play. So I'm actually feeling good, got a lot of sleep, ready to play. So let's head on down to Bally's for the $1,500 closer. Okay, how cute is this? Bob slipped this under the bedroom door for me to wake up to. So sweet. All right, so Bobby Boy and I are locked and loaded and ready to fire the closer. Our we just are all happy this morning. I'm sorry, I'm not hungover like you. Boston Rob is a bad influence. <laughs> he's a great Can, influence. He's coming to the wedding. Can we give him a bad seat on purpose? <laughs> <laughs> because the tournament doesn't start for like 15 minutes, believe it or not, I'm early. How weird is that? I'm actually going to cash out my winnings that I've had so far. Let's see. Skittles the other day played the Aria Cash Six and a 196. Oh my god, amazing! Nice That's awesome. Congrats. So, on break, uh, played an interesting hand. Nice little semi bluff that got there that was interesting. So let's talk about. It. So the blinds were 300, 500, 500. I was like 55,000 effective. The button opens to 1200, and the button's like a solid, regular European, so super aggressive. I call in the big blind with six of diamonds, five of hearts. I think it's fine. Could fold, could call. I think either's fine. Flop is ace of clubs, two of diamonds, four of diamonds. He bets 1K, and I decide to check raise him here to 3,100. Now, reason being is I have a gut shot to the nut straight. I have a flush blocker, so I do have a diamond. So if I check raise and he calls, then I can continue barreling on like any diamond turn um, and represent the flush, right? So I check race to 3,100 and he calls. The turn is the jack of clubs. So I think this is <laughs> Natalie Hoff, she's so cute. Uh, the turn is the jack of clubs. So I think this is a good card for me to continue bluffing. Doesn't help my equity in any way, but it's kind of a scare card. So if he had a hand like pocket tens or nines or something, it's gonna be a little bit harder for him to call. Plus, I still only have six high and I know I'm never winning and my hand's like not strong enough to check call. So I decided to continue the bluff. So I bet 5,200 and he thinks for a while and then he calls. Now the, the river is the three of diamonds. So now I've hit the nut straight, but there is a flush out there. I decide to bet big here. I bet like the size of the pot. <laughs> People are so weird and annoying. So I bet 17K and there's like 18K in the pot or something like that. So I wanted to look really, really polarized. I did have, a, like I said, I did have a diamond blocker. So if he happens to have diamonds, so be it. You can never not bet there. You'd be just losing too much equity by checking, right? And it's too easy for him to check back with an ace. So you have to bet there. And I wanted to go really big. In the event he had an ace or two pair or something, I wanted to extract as much value as I could. So he thought forever and he folded. When he folded, I saw that he had a three because he folded kind of high. So I think maybe he had a hand like ace three that he just like thought forever with. That was a fun bluff that turned out good. And that's why I like making those check raises with hands that, you know, you do have some equity because you can always improve to the nuts or whatever and get value. So we have like 60K coming back to 1200 big blind, I think. So yeah, let's go see how Bobby Boy's doing. Bobby Boy has been spotted in the sports area. Hello. Oh, you're playing online. Fun. Favorite hand. Six, seven of spades. Let's sweat it. 
Look, babe, he meant two, two, two. That means love. It does. Two, what two, two, two means love. You? Wait, what happened here? He raised, he three bet, and you're cold calling the three bet? Baby. I love spending break time with you. <laughs> Yeah. Just be folding that. I know what you're gonna do. Do you feel like an unlucky charm right now? <laughs> I think that this is what happens when you get yourself in these situations. You call? Yeah. Oh my god. I, oh god. <gasps> it's <laughs> good for the vlog. <laughs> Eight. Oh my god, baby. Oh man. What How did I lose that? Did you just ran I'm gonna put the camera away. No, there. let's keep going. This is so fun. I just love you. Mwah, mwah. This is the best series ever <laughs> with you. What? We're so close. Oh, thank you. I feel like that's not genuine. How'd you find me? I was hiding here. I smelled it. I smelled you. I have the spidey senses. <laughs> Alright, we're all in. Oh, and he's all in. Please have ace king. Oh, that's not good. Fives to queen. Spike a five. No, in the window. Still here. I'm alive. All right, on dinner break, and we got a very lucky double up with those fives to queens. Got to hit those clutch moments every now and then. Came over to Planet Hollywood. We decided to just walk because we like to walk on break. I have been incredibly car dead today. It's like really annoying. There was a couple spots that I got to shove, like. Aggressive European, open the button. I shove 20 big blinds with pocket twos. When you have 20 big blinds, it's like a good shove stack over and open. You have a lot of fold equity. It's, you know, a decent amount of big blinds to shove. I like shoving like in those spots for slate openers because ranges are wider. But other than that, I really haven't had much going on. Let's go find Bobby Boy and see what he's up to. We found Bobby Boy here, but he's not so much in a talkative mood. So we're gonna leave him be. Wow, <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? This is wonderful. You dismissed, Thank you. dismissed I'm the vlog. I'm pa oh, I have a patch. You on. do have a patch. Damn it. I mean, he's preoccupied in the online event. So he can't be funny, guys. We're not dancing monkeys, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny, seeing me dance. That, that would, would be make funny. everybody laugh. Wedding. You're going to dance at the wedding. Oh, boy. ourselves a cool little chill spot. Yeah, we snuck in here. That's what we do. Right, Bobby Boy? You're a bad girl. You're, you're a bad influence. Dylan! Hello. The man, the myth, the legend. Good to see you, good to see you. <laughs> Alright, we're all in. Three-way all in. Oh my god. Seriously, ran into aces. All hearts. King, king, ace. King, queen. Last ace of the bet. Alright. Oh. Oh. Ace, last ace of the deck. Good luck, guys. I told you. <sighs> well, we ran into aces yet again. Ace, queen, into aces. Fudge. That's so annoying. It was like such a good spot too. I mean, I had 10 big blinds. So, nothing I can do there. How does that happen? Well, we have one more shot, guys. Unless I play the online one, but tomorrow is the 1K Super Turbo. So 20 minute levels. <sighs> I didn't wanna have to play it, but I guess I gotta now. I'm very ready for this series to be over, you guys. This is um, 
it's a lot. You know, I know that I'm funny and joke a lot, and I've had a lot of like decent runs. Had six caches, two deep runs, um, a day three. So like, I've been performing well. It's just you know, you just gotta get lucky in spots, and it's very hard. And when you're playing every day and putting yourself out there, you know, on the like I am on the vlog and showing you guys my all my busts and. It's just tiring, it's just a lot. I'm a little frustrated. Like every time I get so close, like we're gonna be in the money in like an hour and a half maybe. So it's just like you play all day and you lose. Play all day and you lose, play all day and you lose. Like I wish I was just like busting before dinner break. That would be nice, like get it done with. Just being sour. Bob's really, really short, so hopefully not, but chances are he'll bust soon. I think he's got like four big blinds, so wait for him and then we're gonna drive on home and do it all over again tomorrow. Okay, Bob's all in. Well, now that you bring it up, here, let me show you something. <gasps> Ouch, that was painful. Tartar sauce. Wow. Hey, Chris. Hey. Sorry you lost that one, Bobby boy. That was dirty. They gone, done you dirty. Ah. <laughs> uh, By the way, you guys. What a fun little hobby we have here. You guys say that I play with my hair too much, so. Who says that? In the comments? <laughs> the comments. I'm not gonna stop, it's me. I'm like a valley girl. No, I'm not, I'm kidding. We are losers, losers, losers. Charter How did he hit a seven? How did he hit a seven? How did I run into aces again? I feel like- Why is this vlog always about you? <laughs> Should we rename it? Let us know. You guys want us to rename it the- No. The Meet the Mathers? No. Getting my ass kicked in poker in private is much better than sharing it with a half a million views around the world. Alright, we have a thing where we always kiss an elevated escalator, so we're gonna do that. We're at an escalator. Alright guys, we're on our way home. We're tired, we're shot, we're emotionally done. Um, but we are gonna get a good night's sleep because we have the 1K Super Turbo tomorrow. So thanks for watching, we love you all. Uh, if we happen to cash the Super Turbo, we are giving away 1% of whatever we cash for. All you have to do is share a link to my video on your social media with the hashtag LexiGavinPoker and then comment down below that you entered or submitted the contest because we're picking the winner from the comments. All right guys, good night, love you, and we'll see you tomorrow.